Hi everyone, myself Satyashree. Welcome to Pharmachem Tutorials. In this video, I will explain about phenols, especially the methods of preparations of phenols under organic chemistry too. So there are four important methods for the phenols. So first and important method is from chlorobenzene. We can also name this method as Dow process. So the Dow process, the starting material is chlorobenzene. So this is the reaction. Take a chlorobenzene, reacts with aqueous NaOH at a temperature of 350 degrees centigrade and 150 atmospheric pressure. The NaOH reacts with chlorobenzene, especially with chlorine atom and make the formation of sodium phenoxide. The obtained sodium phenoxide is a salt. It is converted into phenolic acid simply by acidification in the presence of water. This is from chlorobenzene. I repeat, chlorobenzene reacts with NaOH. We are getting sodium phenoxide, which upon acidification, we are getting a phenol. And this is the mechanism involved in the Dow process. So, the very, very important mechanism. Here, the first, there is a loss of Cl along with the bond. It lost as Cl minus and whatever the proton which is in adjacent carbon atom, it can donate the bond between carbon and carbon. And this position C double bond is converted into C triple bond C. This ion we can name it as benzene ion. So this benzene ion is unstable intermediate which is generated in Dow process. So, whatever the driving force for this reaction is OH minus ions which is liberated from NaOH. Then the Cl is lost as Cl minus and H and OH are lost as a water. And the next step is the benzene ion also accept an OH minus ion from an base NaOH. And how will combines with benzene ion is the triple bond is always unstable. The pi bond of triple bond is shuffled towards this position. Then the bond is shuffled towards this position gets negative charge and this position get positive charge. Then the positive charge is attacked by an OH minus. Then forms a this intermediate negative uh, carbon negative charge we are observed. Then water in the presence of water which is uh, released in the step 1 it donates an proton and the proton will abstract here which will attach here and finally we are getting a phenol. Just the intermediate which is generated in this reaction is a benzene which accept an OH and convert into an anion. The anion attack an proton and from water and to liberate a phenol that is a doubt process. And next one is from uh, sodium benzene sulfonate. So from where we are getting sodium benzene sulfonate is take an benzene sulfonic acid treated with NaOH. The H is replaced by Na. We are getting sodium benzene sulfonate. The sodium benzene sulfonate upon heating at 300 degrees centigrade there is a loss of sulfur dioxide and finally it forms sodium phenoxide. From this SO3 lose SO2 and remaining oxygen and Na appears as sodium phenoxide which upon acidification we are getting phenol. Very simple reaction. Take sodium benzene sulfonate, heat it to 300 degrees centigrade. There is a loss of sulfur dioxide to get sodium phenoxide which upon acidification there is a formation of phenol. And next one is from benzene diagonium salt. As we are already know that the benzene diagonium salt is majorly formed from aromatic amines like aniline. Take aniline react undergoes diazotization in the presence of sodium nitrite and HCl at 0 degree centigrade. The NH2 is converted into diagonium salt. This is nothing but benzene diagonium chloride. The benzene diagonium chloride upon hydrolysis what happens is the n2 is released as n2 gas and the cl is taken up by h plus as hcl and the oh minus which remains in the water will attack this benzene and convert into phenol simply this is a type of sandmeyer reaction 
in which there is a loss of N2 gas and HCl by attacking OH- to the benzene to get a phenol. And last and final method is cumin process. How the cumin is synthesized is take benzene treated with propene, three carbon atom containing molecule with double bond at first position, we can name it as propene. This propane reacts with benzene by electrophilic aromatic substitution reaction and finally we are getting cumin. The cumin upon oxidation just it forms an cumin peroxide the oxygen atoms incorporated between carbon and hydrogen and finally it forms peroxide. The peroxide is very unstable in nature. It undergoes an hydrolysis, especially the acidic hydrolysis and breakdown of this CH3, CH3, C double bond over here and this molecule lost as an acetone with the formation of a phenol as a final product. The cumin process is most commonly used uh, method in industries because the valuable byproduct we are getting in the cumin process is acetone. Because of the acetone as byproduct, the mostly industries they have to use a cumin process. These are the four important methods of preparations of phenols. The first one is Dow process, second one is an, from benzene diagonium chloride, and next one is from sodium benzene sulfonate, and the other one is a cumin process. Thank you, thank you, one and all.